A controversial vote allowing a Catholic charter school to use public money may be invalid. Yeah, yesterday we told you the Oklahoma Virtual Charter School Board voted in favor of St. Isidore. That's a Catholic online charter school asking for public money to open. New developments now. Fox 23 weekend anchor Rick Marinon is live with why Oklahoma's Attorney General says that vote doesn't count. Rick. I did ask the attorney general, because if you remember yesterday on Fox 23 News at 6, I spoke to the board's chairman about how he said he felt the vote felt funny, especially with a swift appointment of a new member. I asked the attorney general's office, were there any technicalities? And they sent me the letter I'm about to show you saying they warned the board not to let this new member vote. Monday's vote to approve America's first religious charter school using Oklahoma taxpayer funds was already headed for court. But with the release of this letter given to the board before the vote, some are wondering if Monday's controversial vote is going to be invalidated on grounds that have nothing to do with religious freedoms. It's a little disconcerting that it could be a technicality. Fox 23 spoke with board chairman Dr. Robert Franklin after the vote. He resigned in frustration and called the final vote on St. Isidore of Seville's online charter school application rigged. And now the Oklahoma attorney General's office agreed and even sent this letter it sent to the board beforehand about the new appointment of new board member Brian Bobeck. I am surprised. I'm very surprised because that in and of itself, if you look at the nuance of language of how um, people are supposed to be and the timing by which they're supposed to be um, duly eligible to vote. I think there may be a I think there may be a gap and an issue. Franklin said Bobeck, a former member of the state school board, had not sat through all of the meetings and presentations for St. Isidore and asked him to abstain. Bobeck, appointed last Friday and took his oath of office before Monday's meeting, said no, voted yes, and declared the state constitution violated the U.S. Constitution. The final vote was three to two. Oklahoma state law at issue in today's discretionary decision, namely section three dash one three six A two of Title 70, the Oklahoma statutes, does violate the free exercise clause of the First Amendment uh, of the U.S. Constitution. House Speaker Charles McCall's office says he appointed Bobeck to the board last Friday after he was recommended to serve by multiple members over the last couple of months. McCall's office tells Fox 23 the speaker never solicited or demanded a yes vote for St. Isidore as a requirement to be appointed. But the AG's office says Bobeck is not allowed to vote on the board until November and that the replacement of former Lawton Superintendent Barry Beecham was too fast, especially when he asked to be reappointed and continue serving on the board. Franklin said the appointment made sure the vote to approve St. Isidore was stacked, and the AG's office says Bobeck's appointment was illegally rushed. Quote, Mr. Beecham should continue serving until his successor, Mr. Bobeck, is duly qualified on November 1st. We were already expecting legal challenges when it comes to religious freedom. The school was set to start set up shop in, uh, in fall of 2024. However, between those legal challenges that will likely lead up to the Supreme Court and now this, it's not clear who will file suit first, but there are certainly legal challenges now, not only involving the Constitution, but open meetings laws as well. Live covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.